What is your plan? What is your game plan for all these food prices rising in 2021? It's all going to be taking place, folks. It's all over the news. Everything is coming around in full circle. Everything is going to come back and bite your pocketbook right in the rear end. It's going to take more money from you. Even though that some places and businesses are already starting to increase the pay that they are paying their employees. But with this type of increase in basic food products and supplies of any type of any kind is just going to cancel everything out. You're still going to have people in poverty. You're still going to have people that can't prepare. You're still going to have people that have to make bad decisions. You're going to have to have people that have to decide between putting a roof over their head, food on their table, paying the electric bill, and gas in the car, and which one they're going to do. All right, now we're talking the national um, inflation is just out of control, folks. I mean, it's already accelerated to 5.1% amid, you know, 9% rise in food prices by June 1st of this year. Now, all the retailers and all the huge corporations have already come out and they've already stated that this coming by June 1st, they're all raising their prices, Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, everybody, everybody is raising all their prices, and this will all be done by June 1st. This was all on the national news, folks, okay, right on TV. You didn't even have to do any research and go online and read about it. It was on the national news. They've all come out, and they've all stated that they're going to start raising all the prices on all the products. So what happens? If you haven't been preparing, and if you don't start preparing now, then you're going to get left behind, folks. I hate to be point and blunt, but it's the truth. Because even with, you know, like I did say, retailers and everybody else, they're starting to increase the wages of their employees. But with all these huge rises in prices and everything else, well, where does that leave the poor folks? What happens to the the little guy that is trying to work two jobs just to put food on the table, a roof over his head, and maybe some gas in his car so he can get back and forth to one of his two or three jobs that he's doing. Think about it. Now, what happens if a disaster, a cataclysmic event happens? What happens if there's a power outage, hurricane, flood, earthquake, volcanoes? tornadoes, blizzards, ice storms, and whatever else could happen. You know, we're in the time of the great solar minimum and anything is possible from this point forward. So you need to be preparing. So what are the things, some of the things that you, as a consumer and as a prepper, whether you're beginning or intermediate, or you could be an expert at it, okay? But some of, what are some of the things that you can do to maximize your supplies at this point in time? Let's just think about that for a second. There are quite a few things that you can do. We'll start with number one, coupons. Now you can get coupons just about anywhere. Newspapers, online, you know, you can find these coupons and then maximize the good deals that the different stores are having. A great way to do some of these things would be to download the app from your favorite grocery store in your own local area. I don't care where you live. If you have a major chain, they have an app. You go on there, you download the app and everything else. You can see what is on sale for that week. And most of them will even show you what's coming, a little preview of what's coming the following week. So you take your coupons and maybe you can get some things this week and maybe next week you get some different that you're going to be on sale with your coupon. Got to watch for those buy one, get ones, the BOGOs. That's where you're really going to maximize your money and your product that you're putting into your house, your food preps and your storage. Okay, that's kind of a give me. So you really need to be paying attention to some of these products. You know, especially if you have um, babies and if you have uh, kids and everything else, if a lot of these products go on sale 
or you catch a good deal, especially on diapers, because they're saying diapers are going to be going up from, they averaged on the article that I read, you know, a pack of normal diapers is running about nine bucks. Well, by June 1st, if you're buying like regular diapers, they're going to be over $10, a little bit over $10. So they're going up like a dollar. I think it was like a dollar seven per pack. Now, that's just for a basic little pack. So you imagine what they're going to charge you if you want to buy it by the case. You know, because usually you try to save money when you buy it by the case, but what are you really going to save? So if you know you're going to need diapers, you may want to start stocking up on some of those products. The products you use the most in your homes are the ones you really want to concentrate on trying to stockpile. The foods that you eat the most, you want to try to concentrate on trying to put away as much as possible why the prices are still cheap because the prices aren't going to stay cheap much longer folks i would have to say that a lot of people out there that would love to start prepping will not have a chance to do it but the simple fact is they're going to be basically priced out of being able to prep because the prices are going to rise so high they're going to be lucky to afford just living week to week on the food that they need regardless of trying to put away anything for a rainy day so i just wanted to bring this little tidbit of information out there to everybody and hopefully everybody is awakened by some of these disturbing facts about the rising food prices in 2021 this year and how the national inflation has already skyrocketed 5.1%. And by June 1st, all food products, all supplies, anything that you're going to buy is going to go up by 9%. And they're all putting that off on because of, you know, shortages as far as getting the products from point A to point B. Because you all do realize we don't make hardly anything in this country anymore. So everything has to come over on a boat. Well, we had that one boat that got stuck in the canal down there for how many days, backed up a whole bunch of other boats. So now there are some shortages of some products and there's gonna be delays until the shelves are completely stocked again because of just that one little incident. You see, that's all it takes is one little incident, folks. And then we're in deep water. So you got hurricane season coming. You need to be prepping for that. I just did a few videos on hurricane season. I uh, broke it down for you. Give you a quick little list, a little rundown. You know, your hurricane preparedness for right now that you need to be doing right now. And that will roll into anything that you basically want to put towards your hurricane preparedness. If you live in a hurricane prone area, we'll cover you for anything else that could come your way. Look at it that way. It's not just for hurricanes. It could be anything else, but you're prepared. You have everything that you need, and that's all that you can do. You can only be prepared. You can't control what happens, and you can't control what Mother Nature throws at us. And we definitely don't have a crystal ball, so we have no idea what the future holds. We wake up the next morning, we look outside, if the sun's shining, it's gonna be a sunny day. If it's cloudy, it's gonna be a cloudy day. If it's raining, it's gonna be raining. If it's snowing, well, it's gonna be snowing. You see, the weatherman tries to forecast all these different weather phenomenons that are going on and everything else, and they've put all these huge satellites up in the air but if you really pay attention to their weather forecast, they're lucky to get past the first 24 hours. So we just don't know what's going to take place. We don't know the future is what I'm trying to get my point across to you. So start preparing. Do your best to get out there. Catch the sales. Make sure you're catching all the BOGOs. You know, buy one, get one. You know, you're going to maximize your supplies if you can do that and sometimes they run it on more than just food products folks so you really got to pay attention and look in the stores you know make sure that you're doing your homework 
because this is where it's going to start saving you money so that you can buy more supplies before time runs out and the clock is ticking. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and until next time, I will catch all of you on the flip side. Thank you.